Man United boss Ralph Rangnick encounters a Bruno Fernandes problem despite the midfielder's brace versus Aston Villa. Manchester United interim boss Ralph Rangnick was given further evidence of a big problem he has involving Bruno Fernandes and Cristiano Ronaldo during the Red Devils 2-2 draw with Aston Villa on Sunday. Fernandes struck twice at Villa Park but United were pegged back by Steven Gerrard's side with Philippe Coutinho scoring on his debut. Fernandez's speculative effort squirmed through Villa goalkeeper EMI Martinez's grasp to hand United the lead inside seven minutes, and the Portuguese scored again soon after half-time. He collected Fred's pass and slammed a powerful effort in via the crossbar. Fernandez had been much more involved in the game than he had been in recent matches, but his efforts were to no avail as Villa scored two late goals. First, the impressive Jacob Ramsey found space in the penalty area to take a touch before steering a shot past David De Gea. Ramsey then crossed for Villa new boy Coutinho to lash home from inside the six-yard box. The on-loan Barcelona star had only been on the pitch for a few minutes and yet was involved in both goals. United boss Rangnick admitted that the result felt like a defeat having seen his side go two goals ahead, but the German might also have been concerned by Fernandez's performance despite his brace. The 27-year-old suddenly rekindled his old form with Cristiano Ronaldo sidelined through injury. Fernandez's international teammate missed the game because of a hip injury. The attacking midfielder's goals were just his sixth and seventh strikes of the season. He is a long way off the 28 he managed in the 2020-21 campaign. In fact, Fernandez has scored five times in four appearances when Ronaldo has not been in the United team. That is opposed to just two goals in 15 alongside the legendary forward. Rangnick and predecessor Ole Gunnar Solskjaer have both had difficulty finding a system that suits both players. The interim head coach has often opted for a 4-2-2-2 formation in which Fernandez has struggled.